Hi, I'm DJ Peaches from Tejano's Best and Tejano Nation, and I have with me Mr. Ram the Man, Herrera. And I'm with Apple's Peaches, Bunkin' Bye. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? So I want to thank you for taking time out and doing the interview. Anytime, and, no problem. Uh, I'm glad we made it here. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that people you know. are still interested in Tejano and uh, they're keeping it alive. As you know, we got a, a, a fanfare coming up in San Antonio in, in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Market Square, the fiestas going on, so it's going to be a great event over there. I'll That's be right. performing at all. I'll be performing at the at the Oyster Bake. Same as Oyster Bake and at the Market Square like three or four times. Oh, good. It's okay. Be great. It's and it's great. on the schedule, right? Yeah. TMA, yeah. yeah. At the on the schedule. So I look forward to that. I know uh, the Tejano Best crew is going to be out there. We're going to be supporting you. So we'll be there. I wanted to ask you about <clears throat> how you started. You started back in 1980 with DLG. Well, actually, I started, uh, I knew what I wanted to do when I was five years old, five, six years old. I remember I was, I, I, uh, as a child, I was the youngest in my family. And so I got picked on by my siblings a lot. So I stuttered real bad. I had a bad, I had a bad, I had a really, really bad. And, and my mom would give me the confidence. But during this time, I would hear the Beatles playing on the head. Songs like, my favorite song was, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And I used to think I was a Beatle when I would sing. <laughs> Sing all day long, my dad would say, Ya cae, deal si, mama que se cae, se cae, I'd sing all night long. So one night, they had, they had a party, my dad would throw parties there, and uh, everybody's showing off what their kids can do, and my mom told me, Canta mijo. Mm -hmm. And she put me on a table like this, and I was real little. Oh. And I remember I'm moving my leg, and that was my rhythm, and I started singing, and I closed my eyes and sang. When I opened my eyes, they threw money at my feet. And I knew right there and then what I wanted to do. What you wanted to do. Uh, and I stuck with it. Wow. Yeah. That's then awesome. I, then I got a job as a carpenter. I was a ma I'm a master carpenter, and I was a foreman at a carpentry shop when I was 20 to 20, 23 when I was with David Lee. So I would travel with David Lee, and then I'd go back to work and work full time. And then I went with Montana Band, and I was still working. And then when I left Montana Band, I went on my own from the Outlaws, mm -hmm. and I quit. The music, the music, I quit my job and I went full time in music business. Music is I told my wife, baby, I got good news and bad news. She said, what's, <laughs> what's the good news? I said, well, I think I got a hit song. She said, what's the bad news? I said, I'm, I'm going to get my two weeks notice. <laughs> she told me, that's loco, cabrón. <laughs> but uh, I never went back. No. Yeah. But I still, do, I still do carpentry work. I love doing it. You know, and and I heard that uh, one of your hobbies is golfing. Oh, yeah. I love to play golf. I love playing golf. I can't play football or basketball, but, but I, like, I like getting that ball around. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Mousy. Mousy, how you doing, Mouse? Mausul. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I wanted to say you had a Latin Grammy in 2002, right? I, I was nominated this past year for a Latin Grammy, too. That's right. Yeah, I was nominated uh, in 2016. Uh, fortunately, Michael Salgado won, and uh, me and Jay and Michael were, were nominated. And I was just, right. it's an honor just to be nominated. I've been nominated like six times. Right. So I haven't won, I haven't won one yet, but one of these days. Hey, George Straitner has been a great artist, and he never won a, a Grammy himself, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had a Lifetime Achievement Award in 1999. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I got inducted to the Tano Hall of Fame, the men. In Alice, Texas, which is which is legally registered through the Austin, through the Capitol, and everything, it's a legit thing. And me and Nikki Sneak were nominated at the same time, so it was, it was an honor to be. So actually, I'm, I'm talking to a legend. I mean, everyone, how do you feel about that? I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel good. I'm very. I feel. Uh, I feel. I mean, I'm finally now in my life after 57 years and uh, two failed marriages, but we still get along and everything. And many mistakes that I made. I, I feel. I feel like I'm enjoying myself now. I'm enjoying my life. I go where I want to go. I like to fish, hunt, play golf, and I just, whenever I want to, day off, I go, I'm going to go over here. Yeah. I'm going to go to the Valley, or I'm going to go to Dallas. I'm going to visit my friend over here. And I go wherever I want to go. And, and you enjoy that, life. You enjoy bills. life, yeah. <laughs> no, enjoy bills, life yeah. and play, play music. Yeah. What was the best year in your career, do you think? Probably this year right here has been the best year. It's going to be the best year of my life. Yeah. No, I haven't had it yet, but uh, one of the one of the biggest ones was playing with Selena and at the uh, at the Astro, at the Astrodome. Right. Played twice with her in there, and then playing with David Lee, doing the first reunion tour. Uh, we did like five songs a piece. I think I made like twenty five thousand dollars, and and the IRS was right there to pick it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. From my hand to theirs. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> But I got a moment. That happens, yeah. right? That, uh, Bad management. Unfortunately, yeah. I had a management manager that was ripping us off. So. And the song that um, <clears throat> it was written for you and Selena sang it, 
Amame Kerame, right? Yes, uh, I recently put it on, on, my, on this last CD because uh, A.B. Quintanilla was there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he was working with Richard Valens, trying to get Richard Valens to get in the band. And so yeah, I think he, they, they bought him from the record label we were with, and he went with them. And he goes, you know, actually, that song, uh, I'm a man, get him. That song I wrote for you, but Manny Getter gave it to, to Manny Getter was a producer, and he gave it, he gave it to Selena. He goes, but I wrote that song for you in mind. I said, well, let's do it anyway. So yeah. we did it. Oh, so we that's did good. it. And, and he actually, he's playing bass on, on the actual oh, recording. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's nice. That's yeah. good. And now you're with VMB Music Group, right? Oh, I don't know if uh, the B part is there, the bar Barrera part. I don't know if Chance is still with him or not. <laughs> uh, I think he might have gone. I don't know. I, do, I, I can't say it, but I've okay. heard there's been some problems there. And uh, uh, I'm working with Gilbert Velasquez. I've always worked mm -hmm. with him. Uh, we bang heads a lot. That's why we get along real good. So. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting ready to start so. Monday. I go back and start working on another. On another so you're gonna CD. work on a new CD? Because yeah, the last material. CD was back in 2015. 16, yeah, 15, 16. Yeah. And, uh, so it's been two years. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking, looking forward. But the to songs it. that are on that CD are still There's some good songs on there. Good but songs. Unfortunately, they don't all get played on, on the radio, and the radio station. Mm. You know, well, not, it's not, it's not good like it was before. But thanks to you guys with the internet and everything, it's doing going strong. Keep it alive. Yeah, and uh, so uh, let's see. So you do. Co oh, actually, I wanted to say congratulations on your grandbaby, and um, you know, I know that um, uh, they're doing fine, and our prayers are with your daughter. My and daughter Catherine is doing. She's doing very well. Uh, I had to get all choked up. Sorry. That's right. Uh, That's right. But uh, um, the baby's well. The, actually, the baby was born with another digit right here on her hand. She got like six fingers. Aww. And I said, man, she only had one or the other one. She could be my accordion player. <laughs> her name is her name is uh, Rose Rose Marie uh, Rose Marie. Was it Rose Marie Bell? Oh, Rose Marie Rose Bell. Marie Bell. Yeah. Aww, so Rose cute. Rose is a grandmother. Marie is my daughter Lisa Lisa mm -hmm. Marie, and Bell is Isabella, I'm, I'm the grandma. Well, our prayers mm -hmm. and from all of us here at the Hunnels Best and I, all the listeners, uh, we will be praying. Thank you so much. I, I mean, so many people prayed. I called everybody I knew that prayed. Yes. I'm an axe brother. And uh, so I called all these people, and, and the word just spread like wildfire. And I got I got emails from everybody, texts from everybody saying mm -hmm. that we're praying, we're praying for her. And she, and she, they finally pulled the, the, the tubes out of it for the ventilator. Yeah. She's breathing on her own. Oh, good. She's smiling. She's joking. She's, uh, she oh, wants to go good. home. And she, she wants to be with a baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's pumped up with all these all the medication right now, so it's, you know, she can't breastfeed her right now, so once they get her clear of that, she's free to go. Oh, she, yeah. yeah. But, um, it's a beautiful little baby, oh. beautiful little baby girl. Well, I'm glad you shared that with her. me. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you shared that with me and, and shared with the, the listeners. That that shows us your personal side, which, you know, we appreciate. And you, you're more you're more human to us. You're not, you know, up here yeah. as just an I never, idol. I never consider myself a big superstar. I'm just a normal person. And right. all that kind of stuff kind of really freaks me out. You know, I, I, I still don't accept <laughs> it. But I, 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 I do appreciate it. And I thank God. I thank God every day for it. And I feel more blessed more every day blessed. about it. You know, and and um, I, I, I did a lot of stupid things growing up, you know. Oh, we all I made did. I made a lot of wrong decisions. And... Uh, I was a terrible husband, a terrible father, and but, but they've forgiven me. My daughters have forgiven me, and uh, I got two new boys now. I got Ramiro and Steven. Ramiro looks just like me, <laughs> <laughs> and he's uh, he's a, he's he's 13, 14, and he goes to a school where only well they're nerds, they're smart. <laughs> yeah. And uh, okay. but I want them to stay in that school because they're they're they're, they're excelling very well. Okay. And uh, so I went and bought them a house out in that area where they, they could stay there. And uh, like I said, me and my wife, we're not truly divorced yet, but she does her thing. When we're still, we're the best of friends. That's know, good. It's good for, for the, for the babe For the yeah. kids' sake, you know. And uh, all this fighting and bickering it wasn't worth it, you know. We decided, hey, we're fighting like little kids, and what are we showing our kids, you know? Right. You know, let's let's just learn to get along. We can't we can't we can't live with one another. Let's just learn to get along with one right. another. That's so, right. That's and right. we're doing that through the grace of God. We're doing well. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Wow. Um, the uh, <clears throat> the song with Shelly, "Baby Don't Go," was a really big success. Baby don't go. And who would you? What Baby, female would go. you like to collaborate with? Uh, I'm gonna do some collaboration with Aisha. We're gonna, Aisha we might do something. Awesome. I did, also did. Uh, there's a girl, uh, uh, Missy, 
Missy. Oh, Missy Garcia. Yeah. yeah. Shout out She's to Missy. She's a hell of a singer. I got her. I'm, I sang with her on her CD. Mm -hmm. So we did. A, I did a little part on her. Chente did one and some other. But a little cameo part. So I did a little part with her on one song, nice. and uh, she's a hell of a singer. Oh yeah, she is. A hell of an entertainer, her voice, tremendous uh -huh. voice. She is. That's true gift from God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I want to thank you for the interview, and I want to just give it some shout outs to big fans of yours, Alice Luna. Alice Luna, how you doing, Alice Luna? And uh, of course, all the DJs from Tejano's Best. All the DJs from Tejano's Best, keep it up, keep keep Tejano alive. God bless you. Johnny Chanclas and La Chiflada. Johnny Chanclas y La Chiflada. Aviente Luna Chancla. I want to thank you once again for giving me your time. And uh, prayers are with you and thank your you daughter so and the baby. And Pray for my daughter, so Catherine. Yes. She, she, gets, she gets home to hug her baby. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you.